So, you know, I've been doing little snippets whilst I've been here um, in London over the Olympic period and catching up with a few people who's also been able to share with you their experiences of how they found London 2012. So with me now, I've got Littrell. Littrell, how are you? I'm doing great. So Littrell, tell us a bit about yourself for those that don't know. Well, I live in Texas in the USA, and we are here with Lay Witnesses for Christ on a mission with outreach with the local churches. But my background is that I am the baby of nine children. Wow. My dad was a pastor, and all of the kids sing. So everywhere we went, we sang all the way there, and we sang all the way back. And I've just grown up singing. I uh, I sang at my first wedding solo when I was 12 and wrote, wrote my first gospel song when I was 16 and have been writing ever since. And I just love the Lord. That is amazing. So you're a singer and you're a songwriter. That is amazing. So just, you know, tell us about um, the whole Olympic atmosphere whilst being in London 2012. How has that been for you? Um, it has been very exciting and of course very crowded. <laughs> but <laughs> but we expected that. No, it takes an hour and a half to get anywhere you're going, naturally. The, uh, the atmosphere has just been celebration. And everywhere we go, on the trains or on the buses, wherever it is, and people ask us what we're involved in, and we get to witness about Jesus to so many people. And I've found that many of them are very open. And there are some that don't have time to stop and talk with yeah. you. That's understandable. But lots of people have just congratulated us and been so thankful that someone is here to tell the nations about the Lord. That is amazing. And um, moreover, when you see um, the fruits of your labor and you see that people are actually, you know, inspired by what you do and all for the glory of God, that must be a wonderful feeling on the inside more than anything. Absolutely. There's nothing like having someone come to Jesus. And it doesn't matter what venue it is, we can have church everywhere, which I always try to do. And whether you're in the car or whether you're on the bus or on the train or whether we're right here, wherever we are, we're, we go to the churches and we absolutely have church. But when you let the Lord have his way, no matter where you are, then you're in the body of Christ and you have church together. And I love the love. Yeah. I mean, it's amazing how many people love God sincerely within their heart and I just want that to spread all around the world I mean love conquers all so if we could all have a little more of that it'd be a great place it sure would it sure would so you know the whole experience of being over here and working with lay witnesses for Christ how's that been for you what have you been your high points and you know what have you enjoyed the most well let me tell you how I got here in 2004, I was singing at a church in Texas, and there was someone who spoke prophetic words over me then that God would send me to another country for a time of weeks for a specific purpose to witness for Him. And at that time, it hadn't even been decided, and it never entered my mind that the Olympics would be in London. Mm -hmm. And I heard nothing more. I knew that if this is a prophetic word from God, it'll happen. Yeah. So I didn't question or anything. I just waited. And um, in 2010, I got a phone call from one of the other ladies who's involved with lay witnesses. And uh, she asked me to prayerfully consider being involved and participate in this mission outreach with the local churches in London. Well, it was for a time of weeks. It was for a specific purpose. And it was to witness for Christ. Um, that pretty much added up to the exact prophecy. And I had never met her before. Right. So God used her to bring me, and there's absolutely no doubt that we were supposed to come. Now, uh, as far as how it's been, oh my, the churches that we have been to and the people that we have talked to, it has been incredible. Um, more prophecy has been spoken over my life and my ministry, even while I was here from local and uh, international pastors and different people so i absolutely know god's in the midst and he's in the works and definitely. he's doing something praise him definitely so you know it's been great sharing this time with you and we're going to get you to close us out with a little acapella um so we just want to thank you for sharing you know a bit of your story whilst you've been here in london with the people that are able to view it 
and um, we wish you all the best for the future for your ministry um, before we go as well you know if people want to contact you in regards to um, your singing ministry and if, or anything how can they do that well, easiest way is my email because it's my name. It's latrellinden at yahoo.com. And that will work all over the world. I have to spell it, though. Is that okay? L-A-T-R-E-L-L-E-L-I-N-D-O-N at yahoo.com. So if you need anything, have song, we'll travel. That is wonderful. So, you know, I thank you guys for watching again um, another snippet of London 2012 Olympics with Lay Witnesses for Christ International. And we're going to leave this segment now with Latrell Linden and her song. Thank you. You know, we all talk about the love of God. And I hope everybody can feel that love because it's amazing. But what's our response to how much he loves us? And this is a song that the Lord gave me that is just from my heart and it's you love me so much you came to give me life you tell me to show love and let your light shine freely my heart and my life i give to you jesus I love you too. While I was still a sinner, you searched and found me lost. You loved me though my sins had nailed you to the cross. And you paid atonement before I ever knew Jesus, I love you too. Jesus, I love you too. Amen.